This is Google. Type in your query in the familiar box, and within seconds, links to thousands of web pages with potential answers appear at your fingertips. Even more amazing is that if you type a word incorrectly, Google points out your error just as fast. For our project, we set out to research how spelling correction algorithms work and to develop a Spark-based solution of our own. Correction algorithms play an important role in numerous modern applications and vary widely in complexity. Many utilize the concept of edit distance, the number of edits it takes to turn one word into another. For a given word, any single edit can be represented by deleting a letter, the swapping of adjacent letters, the changing of a letter, or the addition of one to the word. We first implemented a serial algorithm in Python known as symmetric delete, which exploits the fact that the edit distance between two terms is symmetrical. Rather than generating four types of edits, it only checks terms generated by character deletions to determine potential corrections at the word level. We then extended this algorithm to take into account a word's context. For example, this is axe test would pass the word level correction because axe is a real word. We needed an algorithm capable of determining that axe should be replaced by a uh based on context. We implemented Viterbi, an algorithm that uses a probabilistic framework of hidden Markov models to find the most likely sequence of hidden states given observed states. In the context of spell checking, the observed states are the words we see, and the hidden states are the words that were actually intended. These serial algorithms were used as baselines for new implementations in Spark. As expected, the serial versions excelled at checking small documents, but lagged behind as document sizes increased. That said, there was a limit to the file sizes that could be processed locally due to memory constraints, prompting us to move our Spark solutions to AWS. There. We realized much improved times, but noticed that simply increasing the number of partitions or workers did not always result in proportional gains. Ultimately, it became clear that the optimal parameters depended highly on document sizes and the specifics of the algorithms employed.